Hello everyone. Uh, in our last class, we had learned about section formula, where you had solved equations where uh, the value of x are and y were found separately. Now, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the section formula without writing the formula, without finding or writing the values and the formulas. We will do it directly. For doing this, uh, you can check your textbook. It is given on page 248. This <coughs> method becomes very handy when you are solving three mark carrying questions and in some questions you need to apply the formula twice. So every time writing this formula may be tiresome. So we will be using this method this is the rule to write the coordinates of p so how to find x whenever you are going to find this point using the section formula what you do is for finding the x you write you multiply m1 by x2 or the number here given here with the first number that is x and then multiply the number given here with the first number of this that is x1 so you will get m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 for solving y you start again from here m1 into y2 plus m2 into y1 by m1 plus m2 easy is not it so we will not mention the alphabets anymore we'll just use number here and we will just multiply it directly so m1 x2 by m1 plus m2 and for the y coordinate m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 so let's see how it is done So to apply this method, I have selected question number three. In question number three, the question says, the line segment joining the points A, 4, comma, minus 5 and B, 4, comma, 5 is divided by the point P such that AP by AB equals 2 by 5. Find the coordinates of P. So we are given AP divided by AB is 2 by 5, which means if I make a line and divide it in 5 parts, AB is 5. So I will be making 5 parts out of it. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts are here. And then AP is 2. So I will just take 1. Two part here so I'll just locate P here P is here so the remaining portion is one two three three parts that is three so the ratio of AP is to PB AP is to PB should be equal to two is to three in the question the ratio was not given so using this figure we found out the ratio we calculated the ratio that is two is to 3. Now using this 2 and 3 we are going to solve without writing the formula and we will do it directly. So m1 into x2. This is x2. So coordinates of p will be 2 into 4. You have to for finding x you have to use the first numbers only. Both of these are x and x. The second numbers are y and y. This is y1, this is y2. So 2 into 4 plus 3 into 4 divided by 2 plus 3. Let me repeat 2 into 4 plus 3 into 4 divided by 2 plus 3, comma. For the y, now we will be using the second number and multiplication will go from here to this side, from here to this side. 
so 2 into 5 the second one 2 into 5 plus 3 into minus 5 see how easy it is divided by 2 plus 3 so here we'll multiply the numbers 2 multiplied by 8 sorry 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 3 multiplied by 4 is 12 8 plus 12 is 20 divided by 5 is 4 and here 2 multiplied by 5 10 3 into minus 5 minus 15 10 minus 15 is minus 5 minus 5 by 5 cancel it minus 1 so the coordinates of P is 4 minus 1 whenever you are finding the coordinates using section formula first of all you just make this figure put the ratio in proper place put the a coordinate and b coordinates in the proper place and then just multiply m1 to the second point and m2 to the first point keeping in mind whenever you are finding x you are using the first two numbers when you are finding y you are using the second two numbers so we'll practice this more in our next question so let's move to our next question that is question number five in question number five the question says find the coordinates of the points of trisection of the line segment joining the points a 2 minus 2 and b minus 7 4 so first of all points of trisection means points dividing a line in three equal parts so if you are dividing a line in three equal parts you will have two points there are two points of trisection for example uh, suppose this is the line and you divide it in one two three parts so if you're dividing it in one two and three parts these two points are called the points of trisection so let p and q be the points of trisection the figure i kept above the margin are for my rough work so if you want these figures in your notebook you will have to write it somewhere here somewhere here so if P and Q are the points of trisection, you can see P will divide the line segment in the ratio 1 is to 2. Now, how does 1 is to 2 come? So, this is P, the first point I've taken it here. So, AP and PB are the two parts. In the first part, I have only one. In the other part, I have two parts. So, I have taken it as 2. So, AP is to pb is 1 is to 2 that is the ratio so we will say p divides ab in the ratio 1 is to 2 then using this 1 is to 2 you will be finding the coordinates of p coordinates of p will be as we have done before we just look at this one 1 into minus 7 plus 2 into 2 we have we are solving for x first 1 into minus 7 plus 2 into 2 divided by 1 plus 2 so you see 1 into minus 7 plus 2 into 2 divided by 1 plus 2 comma for y you start from here and use the second number now for finding y 1 into 4 plus 2 into minus 2 divided by 1 plus 2 similarly we will use this one for finding the coordinates of q but before that let's see what we get here 1 into minus 7 is minus 7 plus 4 and here 4 minus 4 so 4 minus 4 will be 0 and here you'll get minus 3 so if you cancel you'll get minus 1 and 0 likewise q will divide a b in the ratio 2 is to 1 because q is here here we have two parts here and one part on this side so 2 is to 1 this is our ratio and the multiplication method is same 2 multiplied by minus 7 for x 
plus 1 multiplied by 2 you can see I have kept it here comma for y 2 multiplied by 4 plus 1 multiplied by minus 2 we are using the second number for searching the value of y divided by 2 plus 1 m1 plus m2 is 2 plus 1 so you just multiply this number minus 14 plus 2 divided by 3 and here 8 minus 2 divided by 3 you'll get minus 12 by 3 and 6 by 3 on cancelling you'll get minus 4 and 2 hence the points of trisection are minus 1 0 and minus 4 2 this is minus 1 0 this is minus 4 2 this is how we solve if you have um, say five parts six parts the method is similar you will just make the parts and then just count the number of parts on the both side so using this concept you will be solving question number 12 in question number 12 the ratio will be ap by ab equals 3 by 7 i repeat ap by ab equals 3 by 7 so you'll have to divide the line in seven parts and you can check question number three also divide it in seven parts and then um, the hint is hidden in question number three so let this be all for now assignment is exercise 11.2 question number 12 thank you all